what's up you guys welcome and welcome back to my channel first and foremost you guys can probably already tell i am losing my voice because i'm sick so please don't mind that i really did want to get out this video to you guys because the sephora sale is still running and even though i did my recommendations video if you haven't already seen that definitely go ahead and watch that but i also feel like this video will be helpful if you guys are wondering what to pick up during the sale so um i've been wanting to do empties videos for so long and i honestly just kept forgetting so even though you guys read in the title that these are my october empties honestly i've had a lot of these empties for a bit but they've just been accumulating because i didn't film a video but i do want this to be more of a monthly series that i do on my channel because i think that it will be helpful to you and honestly i like watching empties videos so that's what we're gonna introduce more on my channel i have a little bit of everything so if you guys are interested in seeing my october empties then definitely keep on watching before i have into it please make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you know when i post new videos and also give this video a big thumbs up if it was helpful to you but hopefully i can get through this video without coughing and doing the most but um yeah let's hop right into it all right so i know you guys are probably here for the makeup but i'm just gonna start with skincare so the first product I have right here is this Fresh Toner. And as you can see, it does have um, some rose petals in it. I absolutely love this toner. This is the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. This is just such a gentle toner, but does really give me a lot of moisture. Um, if you have sensitive dry skin like I do, I highly, highly, highly recommend this entire line from Fresh because it's just so gentle, but very, very moisturizing. I don't think I'll be repurchasing this right now because I actually do have a few more toners to finish up and I actually picked up the um, one from the ordinary but not to say I don't like it but I just want to finish some other ones in my stash so for now I'm not going to be repurchasing this right off the bat you guys I am going to say I do have a lot of fresh products during last year's Sephora sale I did stock up on a lot of fresh products so that's why you guys see a lot of the products here but again this is from the same line and this is the fresh rose deep hydration face cream i this had me in a chokehold for the longest time but the reason why i stopped using this i will say this moisturized my eczema prone skin like crazy like so much moisture and a little bit definitely got definitely went a long way but i do find that once i started adding more serums into my daily routine this kind of started curdling and peeling on my skin so i'm not really sure if I was using too much of this or if it just wasn't agreeing with the other products that I was using but because of that I did not like obviously my skin not my skin peeling but the product peeling off of my face especially underneath the makeup so that's why I've decided not to pick up another one of these I actually still have one of these in my stash that I'm trying to finish up but I am curious to try new face um, moisturizers just to see what else I may like it's not a bad cream but again based on what i was personally using it did start to peel and that wasn't cute so i will not be repurchasing during the sale but i did actually purchase another face cream but i'll let you guys know what i got during that haul video so next i have these two products these are both empty so this is the fresh soy face cleanser this is pretty much a fan favorite this is such a gentle 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 toner you guys the consistency is just like almost feels like aloe on your face it's just so soothing it definitely cleans my face without irritating my skin i love the fact that you can also use this around your eyes as well this was a mini that i got in um i got like a set um during the sephora vib sale last year so this was the smaller size and then i just picked up a mini but these are actually both finished oops i do have the full size um of this and it's pretty much like a little bit more than halfway done i did pick up another cleanser so i didn't actually repurchase this um, cleanser this time around but if you are looking for something that's very very gentle on your face but definitely cleans it um i highly highly suggest it it is a bit on the pricey side but it's definitely worth it so up next is another cult favorite and this is the laneige lip sleeping mask this is actually like done. You guys can see that I was like scraping the sides. This is actually the first time that I have finished a lip product, like a lip balm. First of all, I was never sold on spending so much money on lip balms and you know, products like this. But honestly you guys, I a million percent recommend this just because I do have, again, eczema prone skin and especially in the winter, my skin on my, the skin on my lips gets really, really dry. This just brings it right back to life. Like, I don't just use it at night, I use it during the day as well, but I've already put a lot of my subscribers and followers on Instagram on this because it's just everything. Like, it's just giving you moisture and also gives you a nice 
gloss that sticks onto your lips even after you eat it's you still feel that moisture so if you are looking for something that hydrates your lips really well i highly recommend this i believe it's around like it's between 22 i believe and i think 25 dollars. i don't i don't really remember but it's around that price point but honestly i highly recommend this i'm not going to pick up another one right now because i already have a backup in my stash this is another product that i do not let run out at this point so next up is this mini right here. This is the Tatcha Water Cream. I did like this, but not enough to purchase a full size. It wasn't anything special to me. I know a lot of people do like this product, but um, this was a sample, as I said. Again, I did like it, but I actually do like the fresh one better just because it is a lot thicker. And because I have eczema prone skin, I do like the thicker consistency of the fresh one opposed to this. But I just feel like I need a thicker moisturizer and this didn't quite do it for me. Again, it, was, it wasn't bad, but it just wasn't my favorite. All right, so I'm coming to you guys with another um, sample. And this is the Pharmacy Daily Green Oil-Free Moisturizer. The consistency of this was absolutely amazing. It was kind of like a gel. And again, like I just told you guys, I felt like I always needed really creamy, thick products. But even though this wasn't like an oil-based moisturizer, this felt so, so, so soothing on my skin. And honestly, I forgot about this product until now. But if I had known, I actually would have picked this up because I forgot how much I really, really, really like this. It doesn't leave a greasy consistency on your face. I don't know, there's just something about this that I really like. You know what else is really good is the cleansing balm from the Daily Greens line. So maybe it's just the line that i really like but there was something about this oil free moisturizer that i didn't really think would work for me definitely did and i would highly recommend this if you are an oily girl and you're looking for an oil free moisturizer so moving on to the last two skincare products i do have two fenty skin products and this is the total cleanser from fenty skin like i just said i loved how innovative this product was i actually got this a long time ago and it took forever for me to finish it but i like that it i like the way that it opens i don't know i just really i'm a sucker for packaging but i really 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 did like this the scent i know some people were bothered by it but for me i absolutely love the scent and this just gave such a luxe lather and it really just felt like a spa day so personally i actually really 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 like this again i know some people didn't really like it because of the fragrance and they felt like it was too thick but i really did like it this is something that i would repurchase but i do have a cleanser on the way and i also have some cleansers to finish up so for now i'm not going to repurchase this but i actually really did like this and lastly for skincare this is the fenty hydrovisor cream this actually has spf in it i believe it's spf 30 if i'm not mistaken i also really like how innovative the packaging is you just kind of turn this and it comes up this is actually a refill which i really like honestly i really 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 love this and i honestly again forgot how much i loved it until i went through all of these empty products but this gives you that glazed donut vibes like it really does moisturize your skin it smells amazing just like the um cleanser it's not as strong of a scent as the cleanser but I don't know i really 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 enjoy this and i will definitely be picking this up maybe not during this sale but probably during the next sale so for makeup i don't have a lot of products i only have two and this right here is the fenty soft silk pro filter hydrating primer this was the first primer that i used from fenty i've actually never used the mattifying one but i really 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 enjoyed it i'll be fair it's been a long time since i have used this i actually use it today there was just a little bit left i kind of had to like really pump it out I did really enjoy this, especially during the winter time when my face is like super dry. It was nice to have this moisturizing formula or this hydrating formula, I should say. And overall, it just gave a really nice dew to the skin. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it does have a very beautiful glow. So I do really like this. Obviously, if you are a matte girl, I wouldn't suggest this because it's been so long since I've picked it up. I probably won't be repurchasing this. I am like loyal to my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So, and I already have like, I think two backups of that. So I definitely won't be repurchasing this, but I really did enjoy this and then the next product that i have is the charlotte tilbury flawless face finishing spray this stuff right here is cracking a bottle it is absolutely amazing 
there's something about this that once I use this it just sets my makeup and just brings back life into my skin it kind of like diminishes that powdery look but your face is locked in place okay locked in for life um, I just found my makeup does not move with this I put my family and friends on this I put my followers and subscribers on this just because this is definitely one of those products that's worth all the hype I I think I already have like three backups of this I don't do my makeup without this this and the milk hydro grip setting spray I highly recommend if you guys don't have those in your cart already go pick them up okay all right so I did have a random product that I did want to include in here and this is the nature bounties melatonin gummies these actually tasted pretty good I got these from Amazon and there were 120 gummies in here I have been struggling with insomnia for a while now it did get better for a bit but it is back so I will say these did help but at the same time when I took them too late I woke up super duper duper groggy and then it just got to a point where it just didn't work for me I'm pretty sure it was also because my anxiety was through the roof so I can't really blame this product but if you were someone that struggles with sleep I would recommend these I would sorry you guys I'm struggling to talk because <laughs> As you guys know, I'm sick, but if you guys are someone that struggles with sleep, I would highly recommend you try them at the very least. Aside from this though, I would say to have a proper nighttime routine to really see the benefits because, I mean, if you're just going to stay on your phone and watch TV all night, these are not just going to make you sleep. And I also will say that these didn't necessarily didn't put me to sleep, but they kept me asleep longer. So I just wanted to share that with you guys before we hop into hair care. So the first product that I have is from Reagan Sinai Natural Hair Essentials, and this is their Black Soap Shampoo. This whole line is actually formulated for natural kids. The girls and I actually worked on a few campaigns with them. This shampoo is honestly so great for kids' hair. The way this cleans is like no other. It doesn't really strip your hair, but it really, really, really does clean. I mean, if you're familiar with Black Soap, that's definitely what it does. If you're looking at our products that are natural, Black owned handmade all that kind of stuff this is definitely um, a line to check out the next product is also from Reagan Sinai hair essentials and this is their mango butter souffle honestly you guys I'm not exaggerating when I say this is honestly my favorite it smelled like kind of like lemongrass but the consistency of this was so beautiful and it just left mine and my daughter's skin just so so soft in the summertime this was honestly it and the thing is that you could also use it in your hair we ran through like two bottles of these really quickly and it's not something that leaves a lot of product builds up in your kids hair so this is also another product that i recommend you use in your child's hair because it's free from chemicals and it's also something that really hydrates their hair all right so this is another product that used to be my holy grail and this was also like a cult favorite for a while as well this is the allocate naturals lemongrass leave-in I really 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 liked this leave-in not to say I don't like it anymore but again it's been a while since I have used this the thing that I hate about it is the pump like this is not a formula that needs a spray it definitely needs a pump and it's just so annoying to get out I will say this is one of the only light leave-in conditioners like a leave-in conditioner that's not a cream that really did work for my type 4 hair this is very 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 moisturizing it does have a lot of slip and it also smells like lemongrass as well obviously it's called lemongrass leave-in but I won't be picking this up again as you guys know I am trying my hardest to finish products that I already have in my stash before I go ahead and buy anything else but if you guys are looking for more of a lightweight leave-in that actually does work with detangling and have a lot of slip and adds moisture I do recommend this one just because it's not as heavy as some leave-ins on the market and yeah it actually does work so you guys should already know how I feel about this if you guys don't use this that's on you but I very much do and I have another empties of this eco styler argan oil gel if you guys haven't already watched my top 5 gel and edge control video for type 4 hair then definitely go ahead and watch that but this was definitely in my top 5 I think I did it at number one to be honest because I just can't do life without my eco styler and specifically this one I don't know what it is at first I started with the green olive oil one but then this became my absolute favorite gel to use in terms of like slicking down my hair and stuff like that you guys can see like she is empty empty and again I don't want to hear in the comments like why are you using eco styler gel I use what I like if you guys don't use it that's on you but I finished another one of these and I have 
another one of these in my stash i do not let this run out because it's just that good for me all right so i actually have two of these products i tend to run through these because i use them a lot when i'm braiding my hair my daughter's hair for a while they had box braids and i also had box braids so i've emptied two whole jars of these and i actually do have another one in my stash sometimes you guys ask how i get my daughter's braids to look so sleek and it's definitely shine and jam you guys i like this because it's not as thick as a gel and it doesn't leave like that white cast so definitely recommend these especially if you have um, biracial children that have fine hair I find that this really helps in the styling process so this is another product that I featured in my last video in my top five gels video but this is the Aunt Jackie's um, don't shrink flaxseed gel I was honestly pleasantly surprised I didn't think it would work as well as it did um, this is a product that doesn't um, you kind of have to know how much to put or other otherwise it is flake city for now i'm not going to repurchase this just because lately i've been using a lot of different products for my wash and goes and i've been enjoying it it is pretty inexpensive i believe it's like 10.99 but if you are looking for a nice gel to use for your type 4 hair whether it's a twist out or a wash and go i do recommend it it did work for me and i do have videos on my channel as well of me using this this is something that I discovered a while ago and I never looked back. I don't know what it is, but it's creamy but still gives me enough hold, which I really like. I did actually use this product on my hair. I mean, this is like at this point like day six of a braid out, so I know it does look a little bit frizzy. Well, a lot of bit frizzy, but this is what I used and it just gave me moisturized results but also hair that still had a lot of holds so not a crunchy hold a nice soft hold but i still had definition is what i'm trying to say if you are looking for a twisting cream that actually gives you definition but still allows you to have volume this is your girl all right guys so these two products are from the same company from curl dynasty and this is the pumpkin mint deep conditioner and i have the twisted definition so the pumpkin meat mint deep conditioner is kind of a dupe to the um my other organics mint and babasu deep conditioner that you guys should know i really 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 love i really did enjoy this i do have a video of me using all of curls dynasty products i really fell in love with this whole line to be honest it's extremely extremely moisturizing there's a lot of aromatherapy happening in the shower when you use this again because it does have mint and it just gives you a nice cooling sensation and it also has a lot of slip i won't be repurchasing this for right now again i'm just trying to get through most of my products i probably will go ahead and repurchase this one because there's something about the definition that this gives me that's just amazing and it's actually something that I'm, is very versatile. I can use this in my hair and my daughter's hair and it's not something that weighs their hair down too much. I don't think it was too pricey. It's not on the lower side. It's kind of moderate but it smells really really good. It's hard for me to smell because I'm sick but it reminds me of like cake batter. It smells really really good and the packaging is really cute. But if you guys were looking for a line that is very moisturizing and gives, again, gives you that definition, I highly suggest that you try out Curl Dynasty. For me personally, it's been a really reliable brand. Alright guys, so this is my final product and I kind of kept the best for last. This is a product that I recently fell in love with. I do have a video of me doing a mousse only wash and go. This is the mousse that's mousse from The Do. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this all over YouTube right now because this texture foam just does so much and it's super moisturizing, provides a lot of slip. I'm actually going to use this with a twist out. I kind of want to see what this does for a twist out or a braid out, but for wash and goes, the volume you get on day one, girl. You need this in your life. If you guys don't get anything that I mentioned today, I highly suggest you pick this up. I definitely have two of these in my backup, and this is definitely another product that I will never, never, okay? Unless there's some sort of shortage, I'm never gonna let this run out of my stash because I need it. I absolutely need this in my stash at all times, at all times, it's just that good. I also like it, like for example, my braid was getting old, so you can see on a few pieces in the front, kind of just sprayed a little bit of the mousse on and just kind of redefined the bottom of the coils and it just brings your hair back to life so that's why i feel like this is like this right here is like a cheat code i always have this in my back pocket and i i'm obsessed i do want to try more products from this line let me know if you guys have tried other products i think there's like a big papa gel i believe i do want to try that 
but for now your girl is hooked on this okay and that concludes this video those are all the empties i have for october let me know if you guys have tried any of these products or if you want to try any of them but as always thank you guys so so much for supporting me thank you for sitting down and listening to my nasally voice i'm already so annoyed with myself but i'm really glad that i got through with the filming because i've been putting this off for so long but i was just like you know what we're gonna get cute we're gonna we're gonna thug it out and we're gonna film this video and that's on what that's on period so i'm really glad that i finished this if you haven't already please make sure that you're subscribed hopefully i see you guys in another one but for now i'm gonna say toodles bye guys